In this video, I want to show you how you can create very clean and corporate style logo reveals or title animations right here for After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you're not following me on my Instagram, I will link that below. We're posting free tutorials over there. As a fun historical fact, you know, when I was first getting the motion graphics, I actually did a little bit of stuff on Fiverr. And this was one of the first gigs that I did where I did a corporate, you know, logo reveal and it did pretty well on Fiverr. So, you know, I know that this type of style is wanted and it's very easy to do so let me show you some techniques on how to pull this off let's get started and before we get started i wanted to give a quick mention to our 100 logo pack right here for after effects so if you're looking to put together a logo or have very cinematic titles we have a full after effects extension with 100 logo or title templates can be used for either one with a handful of different categories like cinematic electrical type logo reveals you know of course fire you know, and plenty of other logos to work off of. But how this works is simple. What you do is you go ahead and preview an animation that you want and you click on apply. And you can go into that composition, go into the logo comp and quickly bring in your new logo or title depending on what you're doing and it'll automatically update your main composition. So if you want to check out our 100 logo pack and look at all the animations or take a look at the other packs we have off our website, I will link them below. If you do pick up any of the packs, you will be supporting this YouTube channel. So thank you very much. All right, here we are in After Effects. We're going to create our corporate logo or title. Here we are in a tutorial composition. I only have a logo in here. You can type out your title, use whatever you want to do. But the first thing we need to do is create a bright background. So go to layer new solid, call it background and you bring it to the bottom. Then we'll go to effect, generate, and we're gonna grab gradient ramp. And we'll set our ramp shape to a radial ramp and we'll bring our anchor point, top anchor point here to the center. And we'll make sure that the center is as white as we can get it. And we'll go here to the end color and we'll make this like a very soft gray. We can come here to the anchor point and kind of just bring this down here. And that's good enough. So you get like this gradient going on here and we'll make it a little bit brighter as we move forward here but once you have your logo or title in here what you want to do is grab that layer and go to layer pre-compose and you can call it placeholder this way you can change out you know your logo or title later on without actually having to do much so there's that so the first thing we need to do is animate our placeholder here and then we're going to make it 3d so first thing we'll do is we'll make our placeholder a 3d object you can toggle switch some modes and then there it is and then we'll hit pr keyboard for position and we'll add a keyframe for that and we'll move that keyframe forward in time maybe it's like two seconds or so and we'll come here to the z value and just bring this right past us just barely there awesome and then we'll grab the last keyframe here and make an easy ease keyframe by hitting f9 on our keyboard so maybe like a quarter way through this animation we'll hit r on keyboard for rotation and we'll add a keyframe for y rotation we'll move, move forward maybe by less than a second and then we'll set this to 2x we'll grab both keyframes hit f9 on our keyboard make them easy ease then we'll go into the graph editor and we'll make sure y rotation is selected and we'll grab these uh handles here and we'll just drag them out and then turn on motion blur for your layer so now we just have this very smooth intro that's very clean and it looks very professional and that's the entire goal of this all right so let's go ahead and make this a 3d object so we're going to kind of do something new here for this method so what we'll do is go to layer new adjustment layer all right and i'm going to pre-compose both of these layers really quick so adjustment layer in the placeholder pre-compose them i'm going to call it 3d you know logo or title doesn't matter we'll go into that previous composition and we'll go to the adjustment layer all right the first thing we'll do is go to effect blur and sharpen and we're going to grab cc radial blur and we'll change the type to a straight zoom we'll set the amount up to negative 10 the amount to 45 then let's go to effect noise and grain and let's add fractal noise come here and set the fractal type to swirly and let's set the contrast to 115 and let's open up the transform tab here and let's set the scale up to maybe 850 just like that and let's come here to the evolution and let's type in time asterisk 200 all right and then let's come here to effect color correction curves and let's kind of brighten this up by a little bit and then go to the alpha channel and we're going to kind of just do this just do exactly what i'm doing here and then let's go to effect channel and scrap cc uh, composite beautiful so now you're going to have a 3d text here you know or logo and it looks great and then we go back into our previous composition boom there we are all right so now we have a really cool 3d logo or title animation here um, and that's pretty cool all right so we have a little bit more work to do here than just really make this scene pop out so let's talk about shadowing and texturing our scene here so the first thing we want to do is grab our 3d logo to create the shadow and we'll duplicate it come here to the bottom layer and we'll make sure it's a 3d layer we'll hit r on keyboard for rotation and we'll come here to the x rotation and set it to 90 degrees and we'll just hit p on keyboard for position and bring down the y value then you can go to uh, effect perspective and grab drop shadow check on shadow only and we'll come here duplicate it and then increase the softness like crazy maybe like 180 and if you want you can increase the opacity of these 
just by a little bit. Beautiful. So now you're going to have a shadow on the floor. Very subtle. It looks good. So to make this really stand out, we got to add some light elements. So I'm going to use some lens flares here. You can download project files for free if you want access to this. These lens flares that we're using are from our uh, motion graphics professionals pack. So you can just be able to import these directly into After Effects. But I will just allow you to have access to these if you download project files for free. And these are just elements like this that will help brighten up the scene and add just a little bit of detail to it. So I'll bring both of these flare elements in here and make sure that the blend modes are set to screen for both of them. And, you know, just by adding these elements in here, you know, it helps make the scene stand out by a lot more. Now, I want to be able to give you like an option for a tagline or, you know, some other title. So you just grab your textile tool and just type out some text. And instead of doing a pure black one, I'll make sure it's kind of like off black there a little bit. And we'll make sure that these elements are underneath the light leaks and all that. And we'll just center that up. And as this comes in, we'll just do like a slow opacity, hit T and keyboard for opacity, add a keyframe for that. Move it forward in time as so the opacity is zero percent and i'll just fade in there perfect but you we want this to be moving with our title so what we'll do is we'll go to layer new null object and we'll grab our tagline our logos and we'll parent it to the null object come here to begin the timeline we'll hit sr on keyboard for scale we'll add a keyframe for this move to the end of our comp and we'll kind of just have this scale backwards perfect all right, now we're on the last stages of this, and I want to add some creative effects to this just to help make the scene pop even more um, because right now it's still kind of bland. So let's grab our main logo here, which is your, the title, which is that one right there. We'll go to Effect. We'll grab Generate, and we're going to grab CC Light Sweep, and you'll see we'll get this nice light sweep going on here. Go to the beginning of our timeline, and we'll add a keyframe for Center, move towards the end of our animation, and we can kind of just have this move over to the other side and then what we can do is take this cc light sweep effect and we can duplicate it and we hit you on keyboard and we can delete the center keyframes if you want we can move this over by a touch and we'll go to the end of our animation and just you know have this over here and you can create multiple variations of this light sweep effect to be on the logo the entire time all right next up let's create another adjustment layer and let's go to effect and we'll grab the noise and grain, just add a little bit of noise to this, add maybe 8%, uncheck use color noise. And let's go to effect color correction and let's grab curves. And let's just create somewhat of an S curve here to darken out and brighten up the scene. Kind of like this, maybe not so much. All right, awesome. And then let's create one more adjustment layer and we'll put this right underneath those last effects. And we'll go to effect blur and sharpen and let's grab a uh, camera lens blur. And we'll blur out the scene to 25. And simply we'll come here, grab the ellipse tool and we'll just come here from the center. You can hit down uh, control on your keyboard, kind of create an oval mask like this, set the mode to subtract, and then hit F on your keyboard for mask, feather, and you can increase this to maybe 160 or so. So as this comes, as a, like the logo or whatever you're working with comes in, it's gonna be blurred out on the sides and that looks really nice. So that's very beautiful. All right, and we'll, we'll create one more adjustment layer and we'll go to effect distort and we'll grab optics compensation so creative effects are key in this and we'll come here check on reverse lens distortion and set the field of view up to maybe like 100 and it'll give a warp perspective around the edges you'll you can add a keyframe for field of view move forward maybe by a second or so and kind of bring it down so it'll kind of minimize the effects so once all said and done you'll have a clean logo or title animation that's in more of a corporate style like this so a lot of cool effects in here but the creative effects really take this to the next level and allow you to create something that stands out so that is our tutorial on this corporate clean logo or title reveal it doesn't matter what you use it for but now you have the techniques to enable you to do this type of work so if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up on my social media networks those links are below and always be creating.